Hello, my fellow anti bottom fighters, and welcome back for more Super Granny with Conan's bot. Last time we took, uh, we beat quite a few levels in the forest level, and today we're gonna carry on with more of the forest level. Seems really nice so far. Alright, looks like, looks like we're gonna be a bit sneaky with the way we are going to dig today. Again, you cannot dig through rocks, so, um, that no might be a little bit of a pest, but not really. Really, the gnomes and whatever, they shouldn't be too bad until like later on when the level design gets obnoxious or we get slightly more obnoxious enemies. Like right now, these gnomes, they're like nothing, honestly. I'm not sure if it's like later games where there are more enemies. Like for example, in Granny and Paradise, there's a really annoying gorilla enemy that I think first appears in the uh, underwater stages or something. And goodbye gnome. Oh crap. Actually, you know what am I talking about? He's not gonna get me at all. Once I get on the monkey bars, that's it. Goodbye gnome. <laughs> and that was hand over hand granny. Pretty easy level actually. Alright, bonus level 6 is now. Every 5 levels or so there's a bonus level. It's basically there for you to like collect. It's basically there for you to collect hearts. It's really honestly only really useful if you are playing this in one sitting because um, as I said all your lives and whatever reset upon death so it's like what's the point? Also I've reviewed footage and it appears there's a glitch with the life system in this game where you appear to lose 2 or something depending on the game or whether when you game over or ah come on. Okay level 31 unlock the secret. Yeah, this doesn't look like too bad a level. Actually, yeah, this really doesn't look like too bad a level. Again, we're introduced to lock and key. Now, the lock and key is actually one of the most annoying obstacles in this game because trying to unlock those things sometimes is a pain. Like, you have no idea. Sometimes trying to unlock... Sometimes trying to unlock the freaking uh, lock and getting the freaking key is a chore. Granny's digging speed is okay. I personally find it's okay for stuff like gnomes where they walk so freaking slowly. Like you see, she's at later alligator. Granny will find a way. The force will guide you. Uh, okay. Anyway, looks like we got another key. As you can see, the key seems to be a pretty essential item right here. And I can see that this gnome is screwed because there's a killer tomato here. So like the moment I freaking unlock the door, he's dead, he's done, he's dinner. Ah crap. I made a mistake of like jumping down and like that. Basically, you can only carry an item at a time, so you have to remember that when you're like carrying a key or something. Head down here, dude. Thanks. Ugh. Slightly more annoying than I thought it would be. There's quite a fair bit of backtracking in this game, especially the later levels, but... As of now, it's still okay. The, mu the music is sweet. The background is nice. I actually prefer this background to the Granny in Paradise backgrounds in like... The second game. Actually, I should say, I should stand corrected. Granny in Paradise is technically speaking the third game. Although, I don't consider it the third game because, um, to be honest, there's a game called Super Granny 3 and Granny in Paradise the second game. Although the real second game is a game called Super Granny Winter Wonderland. Think of it like a mission expansion pack for this game. It's like the first Super Granny except more levels. It's not like a brand new experience uh, like Granny in Paradise. Although technically it is. I don't know, technically speaking, Winter Wonderland most... From what I hear, many people consider it Super Granny 1.5, but it's the actual second game in the franchise. I never brought it up because I never played Winter Wonderland. I didn't know until I looked up Sandlot games. I didn't know until I looked up Sandlot games on Wikipedia. Okay, keys, keys and more keys. Trust me, I hate keys. They're one of the most obnoxious items in Super Granny because sometimes they're hidden in the most obnoxious places. I like I like Granny's voices most of the time, but sometimes when I accidentally like do stuff like that, 
Yeah, but I like stuff like that where it's like, uh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. I do know there's something. There's quite a fair bit of rock in this game, like even more compared to the later games in the franchise. And it could potentially. Nah, I'm fine. Hope you enjoy. Hope you enjoy yourself in that hole. The gnomes actually recover quite quickly from the hole. They're like the gorillas in later games. Like, for example, in later games, there's more than one enemy, so it's like... Yeah. The enemies can be slightly different, depending on how good they are. For example, there's the... There's the dumb... There's the dumb tribal leader guy who's like, the weakest enemy in Granny in Paradise. Then there are people like, uh, oh crap. Oh, this looks like it's gonna be a pain in the ass. Yeah, for this one, you're gonna be- you're gonna wanna have to be quick. Because there's only like one kilo tomato and it's all rock, so you wanna lure this guy down here. Yeah, okay, we're good. I got him. He's done. Oh, this, this level actually could screw you over. Level 34, the right way is the right way, because actually, if you do not get the warring can or something in time, you're, you're done. You're basically trapped. Those two gnomes will combo you. You won't be able to grow anything. But now that we pretty much avoided the first, like, uh, major trap of the level, I think we should be, like, pretty good with the rest of the level. I'm getting the warring can to grow all these vines, because, yeah. This game is really fun, as I said. I actually prefer the backgrounds to the second quote on quote game, Granny in Paradise. Jungle background in that game was really bland, to be honest. Also, that that guy, that guy right there, that gnome who's being locked up, he could get annoying because I'm gonna have to unlock him. Well, I don't need to worry about him as of now. Right now, I need to worry about my cats, my kitties. Again, is it something like a cliche for a uh, granny to, dig through rock, for grannies to like uh, cats and stuff like that? Okay. Ah, look at that! There's a single lone cat down there. That's why I don't like about the cat AI sometimes. All right, where's the exit flower? Because this looks like it could be a pain. This must be the way out. Of course. <laughs> there was no way they were gonna make that easy for me. But actually, it isn't too bad. There's a there's a patch of dirt here, so I can trap this gnome right here, and then I can hit down. And it doesn't matter if he gets out because by the time he does, I'm like in the exit floor. There, see, bye, honey. <laughs> bye, level two. If you enjoyed this episode of Super Granny, do feel free to leave a like, comment down your thoughts, share this video, or be an anti border fighter and subscribe. And next time, we're gonna hopefully carry on more of this forest world. I love this forest world. It's so much more engaging than that boring first old granny house world. Next time on Conus Board. Well, with the exception of Disaster World Strike, because I seem to be beast at that series, but Avengers of Lolo and stuff? <laughs> this game predicted my future with puzzle games, aka I suck at them.